What's up? I'm Noelle at Noelle's Notions, and this is Fame by the Flame with Lav. What's up with it, y'all? It's Cash Money Lavish D in here rocking with Noelle with Fame by the Flame, and we, you know what I'm saying, finna y'all this dope interview. Yes, and we are starting out with the dopest. Of course, we got you and Sack here, and I'm really excited to have you on the show. I really want to get into, you know, all about you, not only what you have coming up, but most importantly, how you got to be where you're at right now. So I want to go back a little bit and start at uh, where you began. How did you start doing music? Um, I started doing music basically like years ago, yeah. Okay. So youngster like you know what I'm saying I felt like that was the only way out you know mm -hmm. growing up in the ghetto you know what I'm saying just listening to music and I feel like hey I could do this you know what yeah. I'm saying so I started practicing within myself whether I'm walking from school driving in the car with my mom so I just started freestyling then I think the first time I hit the studio when I was about I want to say 13. Okay wow. Yeah, 13 recorded the song recorded two of them and I just like everybody loved it and I'm like okay yeah. you know what I'm saying is you just saying this or is you really feeling me yeah <laughs> they was really feeling me so I'm like okay so I started taking it serious but I was still in the street still young you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. didn't have no money so you know what I'm saying it was taking off slow and I just stayed down stayed down no matter what the situation was I stayed at it always paid for my own studio time and that was back then you know what I'm saying I'm in my 30s now so yeah. you know you just well, it definitely shows that you've been in the game for so long. I mean, you have a really great record with all this music that you've put out. I mean, everything's different. You do a ton of collabs with different people. Um, I'm curious how much of your lifestyle, like you said, like growing up how you did and where you did, kind of puts into the music that you put out. Um, honestly, without, without growing up the way I did, I couldn't produce the, move, I mean, the music that I'm putting out right now, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Whether I'm still doing what I'm doing or if it's the past, it's just like, I'm basically talking about things that I've went through on a personal level or things that people done went through around me, you know what I mean? So yep. like, growing up in the ghetto, you see a lot of things, whether good, bad, the ugly, and I just put it into my music and just like put it in the form so people can understand me all around the world because it's a ghetto all around the world. Even people that's not in the ghetto, a lot of people done lost a lot of people out here, heartbreak yep. and whether it's a relationship gone bad or anything. So I just like try to rap about pain. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I definitely get that listening to your music in the sense of the rawness of the lyrics that you have. Like it really does, you know go to the heart that you're like, damn, like, this is real shit. Like, this is stuff that he went through. And like, now you're preaching to other people so that they can kind of relate to your sound and relate their experiences and use you as a model of like, hey, look, like what you said, like you saw other rappers growing up and were like, hey, look, like this is my way out. And I feel like a lot of other people look to you as like, hey, look, this is my, and who I should emulate in order to get out as well. Exactly. Is there a song that is really personal to you um, that you really want people to listen to? Yes, it is. Um, like I said, I got a, a few songs that I want everybody to listen to, but this one uh, particular song is called Feel My Pain. Okay. And it's basically like I wrote it when I was locked up. I really don't even write music. You know, I, really, I usually just go in there and freestyle. Mm -hmm. But this one song, I just really wanted people to really feel my pain. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because from the outside looking in, you can't tell what somebody's going through. No. You get what I'm saying? So it's like I done lost a lot of people to violence prison like you know what i'm saying a, a whole lot you know disloyalty so it's like i wrapped it up and i put it into one little you know song and i just and i wrapped it from jail i was locked up when i recorded it wow. so um and it's like one of my one of my i feel like it's one of my best songs because it's really from the heart yeah you know what i'm saying i'm just letting letting you hear it so it's like Every time I say what video y'all want me to do on YouTube, I mean on Instagram or yeah. something, they feel my pain, feel my yeah. pain. I just really ain't got around to doing the video because I really want this video to be the video. You get what yeah. I'm saying? This ain't no video you could just do in the basement, walking down the street. I want to I wanna represent the struggle when I do this. Well, yeah, and it's definitely something that you said that's so close to your heart that you want to do it right when you do it. Exactly. You know, you don't want it, you want it to stand apart from everything else that you've done in the past because it's a song that deserves to stand on its own. Period. And I, you know, talking about videos, I loved on your Instagram how you had everybody rap into your song. You had like, for, I think it was like for a month or something, you like uh, yeah. featured like different people. There was like a little girl rapping on there. I was, <laughs> <laughs> that was some good stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. That speak my mind challenge. Yeah. Yes, yes, that was a good one. And for those of you who haven't heard it or haven't had the chance to watch all the amazing videos, um, you can do so on your Instagram. Yeah, my Instagram, Cash Money Lavish D. Yeah. Lock in, look in, check me out. <laughs> it's all good. And where can you find all your music from past and up to the stuff you're going to be putting out soon? 
Um, I got a lot of stuff online. I really don't press up a lot of hard copies okay. because I really ain't got no real strong street team for it. It's just out there just promoting. I'm not yeah. going to stand out there and sell no CDs. Yeah. So it's like... <laughs> I really just put release all my stuff online. I got uh, you can download it on iTunes, okay. CD Baby. It's really like everywhere online. You just Google my name, Lavish D, cool. King Lavish D, CMA. I got a couple different rap names. Yeah, you know I was saying? listening but, to you on Spotify earlier. So yeah. I'm jamming in my car. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So um, I do want to talk a little bit about where you're at right now. So we kind of brought it back to how you got started in music. Um, now let's talk about the current stuff you're doing. So what is something that you are pushing really hard right now or some collabs that you have in the works? Honestly, like uh, me, I like doing collabs with people, but it's like the people I do collabs with, a lot mm -hmm. of people go to jail and yep. a lot of people die. Not saying yep. the people I do stuff with die, but it's like, it's like, I know I'm going to be there. Mm -hmm. Whether it's like wherever I'm at, I know I'm going to show up. Like here, I showed up early. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I got here before you. Well, yeah. you got here before me, but you left and then came <laughs> back. But I'm um, like... Had the munchies. I had to get some food. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, I really don't like, like I collab with a lot of people, but it's like I really like collabing with people that represent the same thing as me. And I'm not talking about no gang affiliations or nothing yeah. like that. I'm just talking about for this like the struggle. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like like people like I can relate to. Now I relate to some big people like Drake because mm -hmm. he's just versatile. I love him. That's like, <laughs> Shout out, like Drake. he he like the greatest to me, like for real though. So it's like I'd be rapping with a couple people, but I really like really doing my own thing. Okay. Like because I know when I go in there, I don't even want to involve nobody in nothing. I'm just finna go do what I do, whether the feedback be good or bad. I'm finna go in, you know what I mean? Well, it so. just shows you rely on yourself, you know? Exactly. And it's, it's worked, you know, all the way till now, and I'm sure it'll be working 5, 10, 15 years in the future. Hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. For real, hopefully. <laughs> well, so then, you know, you brought up Drake. Are there any other dream collaborations that you would, you know, be open to? Um, Let's try to get them, right? I wouldn't say dream because, you know, we, we can make things happen, you know what I'm saying? But, like, if I could collab with anybody, Near like, future. Ma mainstream... Like, it'd be either uh, Drake, Drake, because I feel like he just amazing. And Gucci Man, Gucci Man was like my favorite rapper. You yep. know what I'm saying? Not even because he's the best lyricist or nothing like that, because he's not. Just because his whole demeanor. And I feel like out of all the rappers, I relate to him and Lil Boosie the most because mm -hmm. they went through the same thing that I've been going through, that I'm still going through, you know what I'm yep. saying? They just made it out. So it's like, I'm hoping I can make it out. Yep. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, I say Gucci and uh, Drake. Good. Well, shout out Gucci and Drake. Hit this guy up right here. Get, get a collab going. Yes. ASAP. <laughs> and um, I want to talk about your record label. Okay. So let's what like let's talk all about it. Who do you have on there? Like, where? Who are you looking to sign up? Like, how? You know, I know you're not out there selling CDs, but you are. <laughs> <laughs> but you got to develop your street team, right? Oh yeah, Promote yeah. Promote the uh, label. Off, off top, banked up. Banked Up Entertainment, like the chain say, Banked Up for Life, you know yep. what I mean? But uh, Banked Up, that's my label. I'm the owner, the CEO. I got a business partner, which is Dame Dollars. He's on Instagram, too. You know what I'm saying? He helped me pay for everything. So uh, I got a few artists on my label, like my little brother, Prince Drader. He got a, he got a cool little buzz. He, he, really, he really like the best to me. Like, honestly, like, you can go look him up. Anything this man get on is like, his lyrics, his lyrics is just... You know what I mean? Like, just amazing, ridiculous. Like, mm -hmm. he's like a, a East Coast battle rapper type okay. dude, but he can rap about Sick. anything, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, I got Prince Drader. Uh, I'm going through with a couple other artists that was on my label. They locked up right now. So it's like, I ain't going to, uh, no disrespect to them. So yeah. I don't really know how they feeling. But, you know, I got Lick. He locked down, free him. Thola, he's out. He's free. You know what I'm saying? He working, you know, he's working, doing his thing. He's a good... Uh, He's a good artist. He got, you know, I got videos with all these dudes. I got songs. They got their own buzz. They got thousands of followers on social media also. But, um, you know, I ain't going to shout out to me. Oh, and my son, my son, yep. Prince Quill. That's who I'm really, like, trying to really take because he's young. He's 15. Mm -hmm. So I'm really trying to invest in him because I feel like the the kids is is the future. Yeah, the definitely. The kids is the future. So, you know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to invest in him and bring him up, you know what I'm saying, because I think he could... Uh, he got what it take to to get there. Yeah, definitely. I've seen his Instagram, and you know, like father like son, he puts in work. So, and you <laughs> for guys, real, for yeah. real. <laughs> and for being so young too, I mean, I think you raised a great kid for sure. Oh, you know, top. <laughs> when I ain't there, I'm there. Yep. Yeah, you know I'm saying it got to be that way. Well, so where do you see yourself in five years? You know, like everything's going on the up and up. You doing all these collabs. You have your record label. You know, where do you see yourself? 
in the next five years, honestly, I say in the next three years, I'll be a millionaire. Okay. Like millionaire because, and I'm just saying like off of business, this ain't yeah. got nothing to do with what's going on in the streets or I'm just talking about as a businessman mm -hmm. because like, I think I'm my best promoter. Yep. Like, if you gave me a job at Universal or something, <laughs> like, I know strategies. I know how to strategize because I'm a thinker. You know yep. what I mean? So it's like it's like chess. Mm -hmm. It's like chess. You got to know how to move pieces on the board. And it's like I'm a good promoter for myself. Like, I ain't got, like, I'm not signed with no bigger label. I'm yep. just banked up entertainment. Oh, slash Pyrex. You know, that's my boy AWACS up out the bay. You know what I'm saying? He, I do business with him. You know what I mean? So I push Pyrex. That's his mm -hmm. record label, you know, but I'm a part of that, too. So I can't leave him out. But, um. Uh, Next three to five years, millionaire status. I want to be on some boss shit on my Jay-Z, P. Diddy, you know what I'm saying? I was going to say, Drake's coming knocking on your door, right? In three period, years. Period, you know what I'm saying? Period, you know what I'm saying? In, in three months, he needs three to be months. knocking, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> three, three months. Drake, did... your time is starting now. Get, get this. <laughs> Real talk, you know what I mean? So it's like, I want to see, uh, I want to be able to really help like my community where I came from because it's a lot of gang like you know Sacramento it's like it's like a little baby LA I feel like you know what yeah. I'm saying this and it, every day it's getting wilder and wilder like so I really want to get it right so I can get my people out of here you know what I'm yeah. saying like anybody I'm cool with anybody I deal with like I always been that just on from the streets I always been helping people parents and looking out for the kids just without without no legal money you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying just doing what I'm doing in the streets so it's like when I get some real legal money like that's what I'm depending on real legal money so like I can do more with the legal money yep. I can start a community center I can start helping a lot of people just like just giving back you know what I mean yeah. because I've seen a lot of mamas cry out here a lot of daddies die out here and a lot of kids be fatherless so it's mm -hmm. like I want to help those who ain't able to help themselves. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, I definitely think that you are an inspiration for the community in the sense of you've lived through all the hardship, you've come out on the other side now, and you're putting in that work to make sure that those people who are younger than you and those people who are in your community don't have to have that same path that you had. That part. And, you know, do you have any advice for those younger, you know, the youth out there who's going to be our future, who's, you know, especially interested in music and kind of that rapper lifestyle? All right. I tell them like this: If you wanna, if you wanna be successful, you gotta really like focus on your work. No matter what you're doing, whether it's illegal, legal, I'm in any business, you have to do your work. You have to, cause ain't nobody gonna do your work for you. Yep. So it's like, I say take the legal route though, because like I rap about a lot of gangster shit. I rap about a lot of shit that ain't, you know, say that to get you life or death penalty or whatever, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I, it's music. You know, I rap about I rap about things. So to the younger youth, they look at that like, "Oh, man, I want to be just like that." They go load up a gun. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And do some stupid shit. Nah, that ain't what it's about. That ain't what it's about because I'm gonna tell you like this. Them successful people, you got the Gucci man's, the little boosies and all of these dudes that's rapping about this gangster shit. If you worth 3 4 million, a hundred million, trust me, these dudes not out there selling dope. Yep. These dudes not out there riding around with assault rifles killing their enemies. Mm -hmm. They not doing that. So I'm just letting them, I send that message to the younger people because a lot of the younger people don't know that. Yep. You know what I mean? They feel like, okay, if I start killing everybody, I get a chain like Lavish D. Yeah. I get rings like Lavish D. I get watches and cars and all. No, no, no. You're not going to get nowhere like that. Mm -hmm. You focus on your work then people pay you for your work. You get what I'm saying? Then you ain't got to brag on your work. You let everybody else brag on your work, and that helps you out like that. So you ain't got to ride around with guns and kill nobody to get popular. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You can do something positive to get popular. You get what I'm saying? Don't, don't, don't copy because you might not have the knowledge at the same as somebody else has. You get what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So whatever they doing might not work for you. So you do what you're doing. You stay in your lane. You do your thing, and you focus on what you're trying to focus on. And that's how you, you know what I'm saying, get to where you need to be. Well, I find that really inspirational, the fact that you're trying to let people know that, you know, the rap game is partly like glitz and glamour in the sense of that, like, a lot of stuff that's wrapped upon, like you said, these people aren't going out there and doing that, you know? Like, it's just what they're rapping on. And I think that, most importantly, it's bringing up the individual to find that empowerment within themselves, whatever that may be, whether it's music or some other type of art or, you know, business, what you're talking about, like finding that, harnessing that, and then using that as like their ticket out, like you said, and you just happen to find yours in hip hop music. Period. That's all I do is focus on this music. I'm cutting everything short because I'm grown now. Like, 
like I've been grown, but I be with the younger crowd, so I feel like yeah. I'm a youngster <laughs> still, you know what I'm saying? I'm grown, you know what yeah. I mean? And I really had to sit down like, like, you know what? Like, like hell no, nah. I gotta be here. Yeah. I gotta be here because it's like a lot of people counting on me to win because they know if I win, they win. Mm -hmm. We win. It ain't no I and team. We. You get what yeah. I'm saying? So it's like I'm doing this for us. I'm not just doing it for me. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. If I go to there tomorrow, I want my people to be set. Yeah. Anybody who dealt with me, I want them to be able to brag. Like, man, I knew that dude, man. Not just talk shit about me. Yeah. I knew that dude. That dude was a good dude. You know what I'm saying? Defend me when I'm not there. You get yep. what I'm saying? That's loyalty. That's real. You know what I'm saying? When I turn my back, you brush my shoulder off, you got some dust right there. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, yep. like Looking out for right one another. Period. You know what I'm saying? Looking out for one another. You know what I'm saying? So I'm big on loyalty and I'm big on that. So it's like I'm just trying to uh, give money, stay true. Yeah. Now, is there anything that you really want fans in just like your city to know about you that maybe hasn't come through yet in your music or in, you know, your past uh, expressions of yourself? Um, it's a lot, but I keep it short and simple. It's like uh, I didn't been through a whole lot. I didn't been through a whole lot. So uh, this shit didn't come overnight. This chain didn't come overnight. These rings didn't come overnight. My swag didn't come overnight. I didn't go get these tattoos in one day. I didn't do it to look like no gangster. I was born in this shit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's like everything I do is for a reason. It's for a purpose. So uh, and I didn't and I didn't did a lot of jail time. Whether you know what I'm saying over things I didn't do, over things I didn't do, just for having a name and being who I am. You get what I'm saying? So it's like people will categorize you put you in a category, judge you just by who you is and just by your name or just what they write on these blog sites and do whatever, you know what I mean? It's like, only God can judge me, period. Only God can judge me, you know what I'm saying? I'm working hard, I'm in the studio every day. Every day, you get what I'm saying? Whether I'm doing a song, whether I'm letting somebody else record, whether I just go to chip my dude off just to, you know what I'm saying? Hey man, here goes some money, man, you know what I'm saying? I'll be in here in the next two weeks. Just whatever I'm doing, I'm always working. I'm always working. I'm on parole right now. You get what I'm saying? So I ain't got no time for the bullshit. If you're on some stupid shit, stay away from me. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't supporting no stupid shit. I'm not supporting no negativity. I'm not dissing nobody. You know what I'm saying? I didn't did all that. You know what I'm saying? I'll face whatever when I get there. But I didn't did all that already. So it's like now, I'm on some grown man shit. I'm on some big shit. I'm trying to have it. I'm living. You know what I'm saying? I'm showing up early so I ain't got to be late. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And that part, you know? And, uh, Fuck Literally with me, showing up early. <laughs> yeah, fuck with me, man. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. you know, you've definitely, from all that we've talked about, I can see just the maturity in you as an individual and how, you know, and that maturity that's grown from like when you first started putting out music to like now where you're at and what you have set for yourself for the next 5, 10, 15 years. Um, is there anything in the works right now that people should be looking out for? Um, yeah, right now. I got about a hundred songs unreleased. I really got like two hundred songs unreleased. So you're on like the Chris Brown level. Yeah, got, I got <laughs> so got many. So I got songs. I got songs unreleased from years ago that I might not never okay. put out until yeah. I'm dead and gone. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Unreleased music. Let my family eat off this. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But uh, right now, what I'm finna drop? I got this yellow tape gang. You know what I'm okay. saying? It's uh, I got that uh, some mixtape. It's really an album, but I'm gonna call it a mixtape. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Before the album, that's dropping within the next two to three weeks. And I got uh, God in the Ghetto. God in the Ghetto, I'm going to really push that right there because I'm talking like, I'm really talking over their heads. I'm really like on my Tupac shit, you know what I mean? Like yeah. really talking like uh, about everything that's going on in the world today. The politics, I'm not even that type of, type of rapper, you know what I mean? But I'm really like trying to talk so people ain't going to even understand until 10 years later. Yeah. Like, oh, this is what he was talking about. Oh, this is what he was talking about. So I got the God in the Ghetto and I got the Yellow Tape Gang. Then I got my brother, Prince Dredda. Like I said, he's an artist on my label and uh, he, working on his, uh, he working on his album. It's going to be dropped within the next month. Then Thola, yeah. he's dropping his album in the next month. Just, just stay tuned in with Banked Up. Yeah. Banked Up Entertainment, man. I got the website finna come up. You know what I'm saying? We got the clothing. You know what I'm saying? I own all this. You get what I'm saying? I own all this. You dig? So it's like, uh, we just working. You know what I'm saying? Follow me on Instagram, like I said, at Cash Money Lavish D. And just stay tuned in. I stay posting. I stay going live. And I'm just doing what I'm doing. I'm a businessman. Yeah. So fuck with me. Collab with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not taxing. If you're from the hood, if you're from the ghetto, wherever, just reach out, man. I, I read all my 
DMs. I read them all. I'm not just one of them rappers on a high horse. I read, I reply, I reply. You get what I'm saying? I like your pictures, you tag me in it, all that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no uppity dude. You know what I'm saying? I'm solid, 100, because I know what it feel like not to have nothing. That part. Yeah. Well, I mean, I really appreciate you for being on Fame by the Flame and making it your business to be here. Um, I also really appreciate the fact of what all you're speaking on that I can see that you're an individual beside the music that you put out. You know, like you said, like you have all these other things going on that people don't even know about. And I think it's really cool that you were able to, you know, like reveal yourself not only through your music, but through this interview. And I appreciate you. Hell yeah. I appreciate yep. you too for giving me this opportunity to uh, spread light on this Sacramento. And it's a lot of dope people out here, so it's like just Sacramento period, you know what I'm saying? I respect that 100. Yeah, definitely. City of Trees, always. <laughs> always. Um, well, I also want to say shout out to Omina Labs and Jay, you're awesome. Thank you so much for having us. Um, I know he records some of your stuff for too, so. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I, recorded, I recorded about 15 albums here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got about 20 of them, you know what I'm saying? I didn't record about 15. I've been recording with Jay for about 10 years now. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's like, you guys got some good history. Yeah, real, real good. That's my boy, man. Yes, that's my boy. All right, Lav. Well, again, thank you so much for being on Fame by the Flame. Um, and fans, I'm Noelle at Noelle's Notions, and this is Fame by the Flame with Lav. Cash Money Lavish D, South Sac Iraq representative, you know what I mean? And uh, we in here. Yeah. Fame by the flame with Noel. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you already know what it is. Yep. Until yeah. next time, you guys.